My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. But even with that comes a feeling of divine dissatisfaction. Because ultimately, we're not the avatars we create. We are not the pictures on the film stock. We are the light that shines through. All else is just smoke and mirrors, distracting, but not truly compelling. I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. Like many of you, I was concerned about going out into the world and doing something bigger than myself until someone smarter than myself made me realize that there is nothing bigger than myself. There will always be someone who is doing better than you. No matter what you gain, ego will not let you rest. It will tell you that you cannot stop until you've left an indelible mark on the earth, until you've achieved immortality. How tricky is this ego that it would tempt us with the promise of something we already possess? As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. Your job is not to figure out how it's going to happen for you, but to open the door in your head. And when the door opens in real life, just walk through it. And don't worry if you miss your cue, because there's always doors opening. They keep opening. And when I say life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. I really don't know if that's true. I'm just making a conscious choice to perceive challenges as something beneficial so that I can deal with them in the most productive way. You'll come up with your own style. That's part of the fun. Oh, and uh, why not take a chance on faith as well? Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. At your father's death, he wrote a check. Well, I had written the check uh, four years before uh, uh, and uh, up on Mulholland Drive, in a special place that I have that I kind of look out over there and I, and I do visualizations and I, I used to. I still do it sometimes uh, for different reasons. Go up to Mulholland Drive and look out over the city and, yeah. and visualize. And, uh, I used to open my arms. I used to sit up there, you know, and open my arms and imagine a giant funnel of, uh, of gifts coming Would come right from into the you. universe. Yes. Honest to God, I, you could, you know, cut to me there, I'm like, oh, like this. And, uh, and if nothing else, it made me feel more positive about where I was. I, I drove down from Mulholland Drive every, every night, you know, that I went up there, feeling that I was one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. I was doing wonderful work that made people happy. Uh, I was, you know, I owned all that. That was it. You know, I guess, you know, what I own, when you think about it, is, is my faith. As much or as uh, intently as I wanted to be when I was a kid, I had, I had a job, uh, at least in my own mind, and that was to make my mother feel better. Uh, she yeah. was uh, kind of uh, uh, very ill in many ways, and uh, so it was to make her feel better. And I think ultimately, I imitated my father. He was a very funny guy. But also, I, I felt some need, and maybe, it, I don't know whether they created it or I created it, but I felt a need to uh, make them feel that their life was worthwhile that they did something special just by the very fact that they brought me into the world. Yeah. So from a very young age, I wanted to convince them that I was a miracle. And then I wanted to convince the world that I was a miracle. <laughs> and, uh, and now I want to convince the world that I'm just like them. But to find real peace, you have to let the armor go. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. 
Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory.